I'm Tanya Latre, and I'm here today with Dave Robinson, chairperson of the Skugog Read Members Committee in celebration of the 100th anniversary of Armistice. Dave, what events are happening leading up to this tremendous event? Well, we started in September. We are now officially North America's largest Armistice celebration, and we'll basically be running for over 57 days by the time we are finished. Big day is this Saturday, November 3rd, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock p.m., where we have an Armistice Experiential Expo. If there ever was a day designed for the whole family, this is it. Events range from a 95-foot inflatable army obstacle course. Is that just for kids? It's for kids <laughs> of all ages. The, okay. uh, we have uh, military equipment coming, including that Sherman tank. It'll be parked right in the corner of the Royal Bank in the intersection. At 1 o'clock p.m., we have um, a World War I airplane fly-past featuring the, uh, the Red Baron's plane and Billy Bishop's plane. And local businessman Brian Cowery won the contest to be in the passenger seat of the Billy Bishop uh, plane. We also have, uh, for the whole family, we have a, an armistice military um, antique roadshow where you can bring in family mementos and have them appraised and, or be told what they are or, or maybe you want to buy something there. We have over 14 different military uh, exhibits taking place from the nursing sisters to uh, men from coming up from Mississauga or from the World War I Vimy Regiment of the uh, engineers who did communications. It's uh, something, it's, what, and also in the windows we have uh, 17 poster boards where people can study and learn the history of World War I, including for the first time ever, uh, for people to see. Uh, in the Brock's window, we have uh, the names of every man and woman who fought in World War I. So it's definitely an event that all families could come to, and there would be something for all ages, and the lessons learned would From be... From grandma and grandpa down to their grandchildren, and everybody in between. That's it's, spectacular. It's uh, something for everybody. Perfect. The town has got behind it. The windows are full of military, a lot of the windows, and uh, lots going on the streets. I know that uh, <clears throat> something really new and exciting, which we're starting right here in Port Perry, nowhere else in Canada that I know of, is a Purple Poppy campaign. And what's the simulation between the purple poppy? Uh, purple poppy is uh, for the nine million animals that died in World War I. Oh, that's okay. That's, there that's, were eight million horses, and then there were other, like dogs, carrier pigeons, glowworms, slugs. <laughs> I mean, they didn't volunteer for the war, but they, they, all, they, all, they all gave their lives. So it's, well, uh, that is something that's going on, and that's taking place uh, up in the uh, East End, too, where people can get a, pop, a purple poppy to wear alongside their red one. Okay, so that's definitely the event not to miss is Saturday on Queen Street in Port Perry. Events starting around 10 and going till 5? That's it, exactly. Okay, perfect. Now, Remembrance Day, big celebration as well, I'm told, on November 11th. Um, can you give us a brief overview of the events there, or should we check back in later with you for those? Well, I'll, I'll give a brief rundown of that, but leading okay. up to that, we have events. We have guest speakers coming in. We have a Governor General uh, award-winning Pierre Burton award-winning author speaking at the Port Perry Villa on Wednesday night. Mark Zolke is flying in all the way from Vancouver Island to be with us. Wow. We have events taking place. Wednesday, the Seniors Club is putting on a luncheon down the Latcham Center, and they're completely sold out. That's how big the community is getting involved in this. But the big day, of course, leading up to is Remembrance Day. But leading up to that is the schools. We've had an extensive educational program taking place in every elementary school, um, private or public, mm -hmm. uh, in Scugog. And the children will all be having their own Remembrance Day ceremonies on a Friday where they're all wearing name tags where they can wear the names of the family members that they're representing. And then six students from every school is uh, being chosen to, uh, to be marching in a Remembrance Day parade. But leading up to that, all the children, or all the schools, have signed a great big giant flag and taken the oath of, the youth oath of remembrance. And so that flag will have over uh, 2,400 children's signatures on it. Then on Remembrance Day, we invite the families to come out because the fl this giant flag, it's 24 feet by 12 feet, and it says we will remember on it. And with the Canada flag in the center, will be marched from behind the high school and uh, then down Queen Street where we will join the legion who have come up from the library and will proceed to the Remembrance Day ceremony. Now the Remembrance Day ceremony is very special this year for a couple of reasons. One, it's 100 years to the day 
mm -hmm. that we had our first Remembrance Day. At 11 o'clock, buildings that have bells will ring, just as they did 100 years ago. Then the ceremony will start. And this year's ceremony will be a little bit longer because it's going to be a full formal Remembrance Day ceremony. Where in the ceremony, in the script, it actually describes what each step means. This is what reverie means. This is what a lament means. This is what two minute silence means. So what we want to do is not only educate our generation on what some things meant, because we've lost one of the years, but also the new generation. Uh, the 100 years is a wonderful time to renew all the traditions of what a Remembrance Day is. And that's a great way. So anybody wanting more information on the events for either this Saturday or Remembrance Day or the events in between, please check out the website, skewgogremembers.ca, and uh, there's contact information there should contact anybody have any more questions or needing more information. And also please check the Focus and the Port Perry Star. Uh, they have some tremendous things uh, going on this week as well where you can read about what's happening. Great. Thank you so much, Dave. I appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thank you. I look mm -hmm. forward to it as well.